Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put together a walnut TV unit. The important thing is when you get, when you get your unit at your doorstep is that you have two boxes. Uh, one of the boxes will have your instruction sheet, so please go through your instruction sheet to make sure that you have everything that's uh, required to assemble the unit. And also with this unit, we also have an added pack of draw runners which are larger than the pack that was assembled. So please use the larger draw runners when you assemble the TV unit. Once we've found out that we've got all the bits and pieces, uh, we start at assembly one, which is to put the, uh, the base frame on the base. And it's always important not to over tighten these. The drill, you just get them to the end of their threads. It's important when you put the base together that you make sure that the um, this part is up against the uh, TV unit and this part is the base. So we always align the base with the base, like so. Once we have the uh, unit, the frame together like that, we just use one of these small lock nuts and insert in the hole, grab a screwdriver and twist it tight. It's as simple as that. And we do that times four. Once we have our H-frame assembled, now it's time to put it onto the base. And how we find what the base is, is, uh, is it will have a whole row of, of holes on the, on the bottom, and you'll see a, a cutout piece here for the back. Okay, so now that we know this is the base, we can put our H frame on it. Now we insert all the dowels in the holes, and also the screws. Do that for every hole. Once you have all the uh, dowels and screws in place, now we can put the H frame on. Now we just uh, put the lock nuts on and lock it up. Uh, before we get too carried away, once we've got the base on, I like to put in the little plastic stays for the feet so that they slide around easy and you just bang them in. There should be six of them. Okay, once we have our base together, we need to put this centerpiece in place and again. It's just a dowel and some screws so that we can assemble it. But before we actually attach it on, we need to put some runners on this because this is where the drawers will slide from this center, center piece here. And what we do with the uh, runners is we place them over the holes of the center piece and make sure that the drawer slides out this way. Okay, so now that we know that, we flip it over and it has a small attachment in there, a small lever. Can you see that, Shaz? All we do is flick it down and it detaches. Okay, now we leave this piece for later on and we assemble that like so. Exactly the same for the other side. Pull the draw runner out. Okay, that will attach onto the other side of the draw. Pull the lever. Get that for later. And 
and screwing up. And again, it's important, this is the front piece where it's got the veneer on it. Please don't muck that up, otherwise you'll kick yourself. Again, always finish off with the lock nuts. Once we have this part in place, now we get to put on the centre piece, which is quite a large piece. So we screw in our screws again. And place our dowel in the middle. And once we have the screws and dowel in place, then we can assemble this top piece. It's important to remember again that the veneer part, can you see that Shaz? There's always a part that is at the front, because if you get it wrong, you'll have to pull your uh, unit or the part again to put that piece in, so the veneer's always at the front. Once we have this centre piece on, it's a little wonky, but attach your locking nuts anyway. Okay. Now that we have that centre piece up, we put this little piece in, okay, which is the other centre piece. It's only small, and it'll sit on there like so. Again, the veneer at the front. It's just a matter of a couple of screws in, put it on, and a couple of lock nuts. Now if we lock him up, and then we'll move on to the ends. Okay, now that we have the unit like this, what we need to do is put it on its side before we put the end pieces on. So we'll put it up on the side and we'll see you shortly. Okay, now it comes time to putting the end pieces on. Um, with the end pieces, we have a groove here, which is always the back, because that's where the back part will sit in. Okay, and then we have two small dots, is where you're going to put your runners. Okay, and again, the same, we want to pull this away from the back, like so. We put it on the dots, pull the lever up, disengage it, and screw it up. Once we have the runners on, then we put our joiners on. Once we have all the joiners and the uh, dowels in place, we attach it to the end and they'll just line up with all the holes, there's quite a few of them, so we just line it up. Uh, and once we do this side and have it all locked up, we do exactly the same with the other side, but you will need a little stumpy screwdriver to get in and lock these ones up. Just show you these runners again because it's very important that this face is, slides out to the front. Okay, so and again, you just use this lever, pull that off, save that for the drawer, and screw it up. Now we're starting to take some shape. Um, we can whack the backing board in now that we've got the sides up. It should just be a matter, it's quite thick, so which is really good. It should just be a matter of pushing it into place. Alright, now we're ready to put the top on. And so we work our screw joiners in and our dowels. And then we'll put it on. Now we just put the joiners in and that's the top. Right now it's time to assemble the drawers. Firstly, we put our joiners in. Okay, once the joiners are in, then we can put the sides in. Obviously, marrying up the uh, 
the bias one and two. And then we just put both nuts on them. So up nuts are in. You can slide your backing plate in. push to get it all in place. Got the backing plates, the base is in place, we can put the back back on and just push down to make sure it's okay. And then we grab the long screws and there's always a little a little trick to this, there's a little hole that you can screw the screw into, just a little dimple hole. I always like to screw the top one in and then we can just put the bottom one in. And do the same the other side. It's important to note when we put these runners on for the drawers that the this little latch goes to the back of the drawer. Okay. So we put it in place and screw it up. Making sure that the latch is at the back. It's very important. Then we flip it over and do exactly the same on the other side. Again, you've got to make sure that latch is at the back, not at the front. Now it's time to put the finishing touches on with the handle. With this handle, um, you'll get larger handles which came, will come with the, the larger runners. Okay, so use the larger handles, not the smaller ones that are provided in the box. And they're very simple to put on. Just screw in. It's just important to note before we put the drawers in that the, there, is a, is there, there is one end with not much gap and that end is the far end. And the, and the end with more gap goes into the centre. Okay? And then we should be able to slide that drawers in. Alright, once we've got the drawers in, that's it. That's the Walnut TV unit.